welcome back to my channel and um, if this is your first time here make sure that you like comment and hit that subscribe button on your way out and stick around alrighty so we're gonna make a title page for our second week in our scripture writing plan so if you're interested in what that's gonna turn out and look like just stay tuned Okay, so we're using the stencils that I hauled from the Dollar Tree. And this week the title is New Covenant. So we're going to try out these um, stencils. And I'm going to use both of them because I want to have the capital letters. And y'all, I am not really good at spacing, so there's that. And so we're going to see how this comes out. And I'm going to line it first with a pencil, although I need to do it kind of lighter because I think the last time I used this pencil, this pencil seems very dark. And these are one of my grandson's um, pencils. Your possum, huh? All right, so. There's the end. Not too bad. But I don't think the spacing is going to be right. Because that's really not in the middle. Uh, yeah, because it should be like, because if I have the E here. Alright, I'm not going to talk to y'all through this whole piece of it. We'll fast forward through and we'll see how this comes out. All right, I'm trying to, you know, work out the stencil. Now, this stencil did say it was flexible on the packaging. I wish it was just a little bit firmer, but the package didn't lie. It did say flexible. So I'm trying to work out the spacing, see if I can fit this whole uh, word covenant on one line. And so I was really trying to figure it out to say, okay, I want to make it work. I need it to fit on one actual line. Um, but yeah, this, it, the stencil itself from the Dollar Tree is working pretty well. Again, wish it was just a little bit firmer, but the package didn't lie. It did say that it was basically flexible. All right, we made it through. I barely made it. Oh, yeah. I'm looking for my stickers. All right, so we're going to use the Art of Becoming Boho Florals here. Uh, I think I want to do clear stickers, so... Now, you know we're doing a little flip-flip because I can't decide which set of stickers. I thought I wanted to go with these, but then I realized the layout is really more for a um, vertical look than um, what I was looking for. So, I decided to go with these instead. And then as I'm doing that, you see I'm just rubbing away because it had a little bubble, so I was just trying to rub the bubble out and then i was like you know what i'm gonna use a second one too try to cover up some of the white space and then you know cut off the excess and you know my whole punch was in uh, my office and i wasn't about to get up and go get it so you know you don't have to have a whole punch you can make do with what you got and so that's what i was doing trying to figure out what i want to do next and then i thought you know what, I might want to, you know, color this. So I had some crayons next to me, which were braided. You could see how they looked. So then at that point, I was like, you know, let me grab some colored pencils. And now I'm just, the set of colored pencils that I took out, trying to see what I like to kind of paired together because I know I wanted it to be two-toned. And so now we're just kind of, um, filling that space in so I'm outlining it trying to get rid of the pencil mark and there's going to be a point where you're going to see me really like trying to get that pencil mark out but y'all the struggle um 
But you know, I'm making it work. Doing what I do. So yeah, you see I erase and then I go back and try to darken it with the colored pencil. Now I need to sharpen it and get ready. So my question for you guys, do you ever color, use colored pencils or crayons when you're doing your scripture writing plans or coming up with your title pages? You know, just to give it a little different pizzazz or so um, in your face planners. Comment down below and let me know. I'm over here fooling with the light because it was really bright as I was trying to color and I couldn't really see the lines because again, you know, I was trying to get rid of the pencil marks and then the light cappuccino. So that that's what you see me for a moment there, messing with the light. As I'm trying to get this coloring in right and the outlining. So I'm going back over with the color uh, coffee bean. And then I determined that I'm going to use a different color. I think this is orange peels that I'm outlining it with. And then I'm like scrubbing for my life. Well, erasing, I should say. And I go back over it. Had to sharpen a little bit. I'm over here doing some swatches again. Trying to figure it all out. To see which color is actually going to look best as I um, deal with this. So I ended up going with orange peels as the outline and I used the coffee bean, which is what I outlined the word covenant with to be the color for the word new. Okay, so this is how it all kind of ended up. Um, I think it would have been better if you can't really see all the pencil lines so you can really see the light brown or um, coffee bean outline. I wanted it to have this pop of color since we had this neutral that was going on here um, because we already have some pop of color from the flowers. But, I don't know. Well, thus using the stencils, either I need to get a different type of eraser or I need just to use a different pencil that has lighter wood um, pencil lid, which I'm sure I have in my uh, another pouch that I have, which is a tool mechanical pencil that writes so smooth like butter, y'all. Anyways, um, that is all for today. This is our title page for this um second section of the bible study for the new covenant see you guys in another video bye